morning dear student in the continuation of the process of diffusion and osmosis here we have some experiment which will prove the process of osmosis in different experiments so here what we take we take the potato in which we make the one groove here by the blade or the knife and from the outside we just peel out the potato so that it may have the white color and that potato is we put under the sugar solution here inside the group just we take the sugar solution and this entire potato we take the another tray that is in the water so in the tray we have taken water and inside the group of the potato we have taken the concentrated sugar solution so here you find come to the next diagram here you find that the level of this sugar solution rises because water will move from this tray to inside of the potato from the higher concentration of water to lower concentration of water that means from the dilute to the concentrated so here the level of sugar solution will rise in the potato groups so this process shows the osmosis and if we take the boiled potato in place of the normal potato since boiled potato have potato has dead cells the cells are dead cell membranes are ruptured so if we put the potato in the again water and here we fill up the again sugar solution so there will be no change in the level of the sugar solution because this is a boiled potato the cells are dead there will be no movement of the water from out inside to outside or from outside to inside so the level of sugar solution will remain same so here this first experiment show the process of osmosis in the potato then come to the next experiment here the demonstration of the osmosis in the resin you, you might have seen the kismis in your house or the resin when you put the kismis in the water in a pot then you will find in the morning the size of resin swell up because this resin has absorbed water in it this process also shows the endosmosis because the water is absorbed from outside to inside so here water molecule moves from higher concentration to lower concentration of water that means from dilute solution to concentrated solution so here this also shows the process of osmosis that is endosmosis if we take the re resin and put under the salt solution here in place of water here water is there but here it is salt solution is there so if we put resin solution resin into the salt solution it means this resin will lose water from their body the resin will lose the water and their size will shrink so here you find here the size of resin become smaller and it is shrink so this shrinkage of the resin is due to the process of endosmosis means water molecule is loosed by the resins because outside this resin there is salt solution so this salt solution is highly concentrated means it is hypertonic solution so the movement of water takes place from resin to outside and the size of the resin deteriorates and it is shrinks so here we find the process of plasmolysis earlier also we have discussed the same uh, experiment just i am going to repeat it to demonstrate the plant cell in onion pills we take the onion and from the inner side of the onion we find out the peels of the onion that is membranous peels and after cutting it with the blades we give the proper shape and size and put over the slides after putting over the slides we put the one or two drops of the water and after putting the two three drops of the water we have just put saffronin here saffronin is a staining material which is red in color or pink in color so this saffronin gives the color to the cells and by putting the saffronin we can find out the cytoplasm and nucleus clearly after putting the saffronin just we put the glycerin over it 
and glycerin which is the adhesive materials and transparent as well why we put here so that we can see clearly when we put this slides over the microscope and after putting the glycerin we cover this entire material with the cover slip this is also transparent material and after putting all these things we observe under the microscopes and in the microscope we have high magnification and a low magnification first we see under the low magnification that is 10x then we observe under the high magnification of the lens that is 45x and then we find this diagram here you see here this is the diagram of the plant cell which you find in the onion peels so this is the cell wall inside the cell wall this is a cytoplasm and dot structure that you are finding here this is the nucleus so this is a plant cell the same process we can demonstrate to find out the animal cells in our cheek or the toothpick for this what we do we take the uh, pin or even with the help of the nails we can scrape out the toothpick or the cheek from inside of the mouth and we put over the slides after putting over the slides we again repeat the same process that is water is given here so that it may not dry up after uh, putting the water here then we put two three drops of the methylene blue so here this is a methylene blue it is blue in color it is given to observe the animal cell and earlier experiment you have seen we, we put the saffron in the plant cell but in case of the animal cell we put methylene blue and this methylene blue again it is covered with the glycerin and the cover slip so your slide is ready to observe under the microscope so in the microscope when you, we observe this slides containing the cheek or the toothpick we find such type of a structure so this is the animal cell structure so outside we find a cell membrane since this is the animal cell so th there is no cell wall so here we find cell membrane and in center of the cell we find the nucleus so this is all about the sum of the experiment which covers in the fundamental unit of the life so thank you we will see in next class thank you